This video is going to be the first in a series that shows my process of building the tiny house. I'm going to start in the beginning and bring you all the way up to date. I started out by buying a travel trailer from a junkyard for only $100 and stripped off the top to get down to the trailer. Let's have a closer look at the process. Well, like I said, I got the trailer for only 100 bucks from a junkyard. It was way down in there, and they pulled it out with a bulldozer and um, got it on up there for me to haul a home. Here's some shots of the inside just to let you see it. It's pretty rough condition, but a lot of the stuff, like a sink and stuff, is in pretty good condition. Um, ended up keeping a lot of that. Probably ended up only using the stove, but um, I still have all the rest of it. In order to take it apart, I used a sawzall and cut it right down the middle on the top and then just pulled the other side over. Um, there's the trailer, and uh, on the back of the trailer, that bumper there with the red paint, I ended up replacing that later on because it got a little messed up when they were getting it out of the junkyard. I ran the grinder around on the trailer, removing most of the rust, and then sprayed it down with a rust converter, and then primed it with a Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer. And here's just a couple of shots of the trailer itself. And uh, the trailer needed a little bit of reinforcing to stiffen it up just a little bit. All in all, it's pretty tough, but I wanted to add some uh, extra strength to it. Here I'm just grinding, uh, grinding the spots that I'm going to be welding just to um, have bare metal to weld to. Here I am welding the pieces in with a 110 welder, and uh, it was wild how stiff these reinforcement pieces made it. I also welded some pieces down the sides of the trailer um, that I didn't have a photo of, but here's a final shot of it painted black with the aluminum sheet that goes underneath the foundation. With the trailer complete, I began framing the house, starting with the floor and working my way towards the ridge beam. In the next video showing my build progress, that's what I'm going to show. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Click the red subscribe button to get updates when I post future videos.